morning, everyone, and welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. I'm Tracy Steen. This is an upper body by muscle group. So we're dividing that upper body into back, biceps, chest, triceps, shoulders, and abs. All right, we're gonna be in each muscle group for four different exercises. Okay, and then we're gonna move into some cardio in between each muscle group just to let the muscles rest. Your format then will be in rep range. I'm gonna lift in that 12 rep range. I encourage you to lift as heavy as you can within that range. You're gonna require a variety of dumbbells for the workout today, and here are the dumbbells that I plan on using. Of course, lift within your own abilities. I'll start you with a warm up, and we'll end with a cool down. All right, ready to sculpt that upper body and move daily? Me too, let's do it. I'll be putting strength on my watch today here. Let's start with a warm up. We'll get that upper body warmed and ready to go, ready to lift. I actually really enjoy a format like this, switch directions. Just, cause you're gonna feel it. Like four exercises in, you're gonna be like, ha! Ah! But then that muscle will get a break and we'll move on to the next muscle. Switch sides. Anyway, it's a good way, fun way to train if you want to have the variety, like the no repeat, but you wanna have the overload on the muscle, which is necessary for that growth. So yeah, I like it. Good. All right, reach across, tap this out. Up and over. Good, take it wide. Open in the chest here. <clears throat> Good, feet a little closer. Low squat, overhead reach. Last one here. Good, take it wide, alternating hand to toe tap. Let's do side to side. Reach your hips back. Last one here. Hands out, one behind the head, one behind the back. Now we'll switch, big stretch. Two more here. Good. And finish here. Okay. We are starting with back. There's the four exercises. Grab your dumbbells and here we go. All right, starting with the one arm row. I've got my 20 pound dumbbell. You could put your hand and knee on a bench if you wish. I'm just gonna use my knee and prop myself up. 12 reps per side, super flat back. And we draw that up. Very nice, think of retracting the shoulder blades here. more for me. There's 12, switching sides. And row right here. Last 
one here. And moving into your bent over Y row. I'll hold eights, hinge forward at the waist. You're coming to that letter Y, nice flat back. Here we go. And we lift and slow. Up, that's it, here for 12. Last for me. And there's my 12, making our way to the ground for that dumbbell pull over. I've got my 30, but go lighter if you need. I'm gonna do hips are up. Of course, you can do this on a bench. Okay, create that diamond, and you're slow. Two, three, and up. more for me. Last here, slow, two, three and up, very nice. All right, I'm flipping over for that renegade row. I think I'll use this 30. I'll try it. Why not? Go lighter if you need, though. Plank position. Of course, you can mod from your knees if you need. 12 and arm. There's my 12, switching sides. Okay, last exercise for back. And we're gonna do, I'm gonna hold 15s. We're gonna do an explosive bent over row. Hinging forward at the waist, back is flat. And we tap and draw. And two. And there's 12. Okay, good work. Going into 20 frog squats. Now's our little reprieve, our little cardio. Modify right here for low impact. Otherwise, drop for 20. There's 10. And 20 into your ice skaters. Mod right here for low impact, 20 here.
Here's 10. And 20. And you got 50 jumping jacks. Here we go. Ten. Twenty. Thirty. Forty. And 50, okay. Water break. Check out the chest. That's what's coming up next. You're starting with that variable surface push-up. Now, of course, you can modify this from the knees. I'm gonna just put my hand on one of my dumbbells, one on the floor, six per arm. Here we go. There's six, switching sides. And six right here. Okay. Whew. Into my chest press and I've got my 25s for this. We're gonna go over the chest. <clears throat> Wide to narrow press. Okay, on your back, start wide, turn narrow. Push for one. Good. Two more for me. And there's 12. Whew, that was heavy. Good, good. Into your up-down plank. Modify this from the knees. Okay, elbow, elbow, hand, hand. 12, alternating sides. You're here, bum is down. And elbow, elbow, hand, that's one and two. Two more. Eleven and twelve. Flipping back over for those chest flies. I'll hold twelves. Rounded arms. I'll put my hips up again. Slow on the descent. And here we go. Slow, two, three, and squeeze over the chest. Four more for me. Keep those arms just slightly rounded. You don't want to bend that elbow too much. You want to really open up into that pec and then pull and squeeze. Last for me. There we go. All right, last chest exercise is going to be a single side chest press. Again, with my 25s, both dumbbells up, singles down. You've got 12 per side. Here we go, mm, push them up. Down for one, alternate, two, good, three.
There's 12, halfway, and one. Eleven, twelve. Mm, that was hard. Very nice. Okay. Whew. Make sure the weights are not in your way. We're moving into some cardio and letting that chest rest for a second. Ah. Okay. Let's start with a center squat, diagonal tap or hop, and you've got twelve of these. Here we go. Diagonal hop right here. That's one, two, And 12, good. Into that cardio kick. I'll do a hop cardio kick, low impact is here. You've got 30, here we go. Ten. Twenty. Thirty, and now into your squat. Abductor jump for 20. Modify with a tap. Ready? 20 here. Ten. Twenty. Okay. Whew. Rest for a sec. Walk it out. Shoulders are coming up next. Whew. Let's bring the heart rate down a bit first. I'll start with the fifteen. This is going to be my favorite set. Pop press. Now, you could stand and press. I'm gonna do a slight bend in the knee, lift a little bit heavier and be able to pop that up there. You do what's best for you. 12 per arm. So soft, press. Two. There's 12 and switch. There we go. Good. Going into your upright row, and I'll hold 12s. Shoulders back. Knees are soft. You're here for 12. Up. Two. Stick your chest out. Nice and slow on the descent. There's four. There's 12. I'm gonna stick with these 12s for my reverse flies. Go lighter if you need. Arms are rounded. Retract those shoulder blades and up.
and 12. Okay, going into my lateral raise, I'll hold eight. Out to the side, shoulders low and back. 12 right here. There's 12, and into that front raise, palms face the ground. Pop it up, here we go. Slow. And there's your 12. Into your active rest in and out squat jumps for 20. You can narrow wide squat for low impact. Otherwise, here we go. Low, one, two, three, four. There's 10. And 20, two knees, two frogs for 10. Here we go. And frog, that's one. Frog, there's two. All right, into your snowboarder. We're gonna do three hop snowboarder. You can snowboard low impact right there. And you've got 10. Jump right here. Three hops and jump. That's two and three. Okay, catch your breath. Good job. We're going into biceps next. I'm gonna start with that concentration curl and I'm gonna hold a 15. You've got 12 a hand. Have a seat on a couch, chair, something stable. On the inside of the one leg, the elbow rests. You're gonna cross the body and you've got 12 aside. So you're up and flex, slow on the down. Six more for me on this side. One more here. Very nice. Switching sides. Elbow is against the leg. No swinging at the bottom. And you've got 12.
11, last here. Good. All right, we're gonna do a hammer curl, but alternating sides. So you're gonna do 12 a side, 24 in total. All right, shoulders back, singles up. Here we go, and one. Switch, two, three, elbows close, four. Good. There's 12, you've got 12 more now. Eleven and twelve for twenty-four. Very nice. Going into a palms up bicep curl. I think I'll hold twelves. Okay. Straight up and down, full range of motion. Knees are soft. So we curl. And one. Eleven, last for me, and twelve. Okay, we're gonna do a brachialis curl. So your palms face your legs this time. A little bit of forearm, but a lot of the outside, that brachialis in our biceps. Knees are soft, go lighter if you need. Twenty-four in total, and you're one, two. See, palms face my thighs. There's 12, we're halfway, now 12 more. And there's 12. Good, back to my 15s, we're gonna Bring back that hammer curl, but we're gonna add a turn at the top this time. So both together at the same time, I'll hold 15s. Hammer curl, turn. Last 12 for biceps. Up, turn and face. That's one. Two more for me. And there we go. Very nice. Into your cardio. <sighs> Get this out of the way. Okay. We're starting with three hops, frog squat. You can do three high knees, frog. And you've got 12. Here we go. One, two, three, and low. Good, going into your jumping lunge. I'll add a hop in the middle. Reverse lunge to mod. You've got 20, here we go. Ten.
Okay, two jack, front squat. There's your low impact. We're going for 15. Here we go. And jump to the front. That's one, two. There's 10. Okay, whew. Nice work, catch your breath. Triceps is next. I'll start standing and then make my way down to the ground. Check out the weight amounts that I'm using. Adapt to suit yourself. Whew. Okay, so I'm gonna take those 15s and 12s to the ground. Okay, I'm starting with those skull crushers. I'm gonna use my 25 for 12 skull crushers. Standing position, you could sit if you wish. Whew. Here we go. These are soft. And press and flex. There's a 12, good, good. Going down into my tricep chest press with those 15s. Okay, palms facing. I'm gonna put my hips in the air, press to the ceiling, elbows close, and you're 12. There's 12. Good, going into my Tate press, so palms face away to the chest. Here we go, and your 12 press. Again, I've got my 15s here. And there's my 12. I'm going into tricep push-ups. If you're not a big fan of the tricep push-up, of course you could elevate onto the wall, but you could also go back into a tricep chest press again if you wish. I'm gonna mod from my knees so I can get down nice and low, palms facing and palms and elbows, everything's closer to the body on the tricep press. Here we go. There's six. This is hard for me. Okay, there's my 12. I'm gonna lighten to 12 pound dumbbells because we're gonna do an eccentric overhead tricep extension, which means we're gonna go nice and slow on the down phase. Okay, shake it out. Last tricep exercise, palms facing and slow on the down. Go for four, three, two, one, and press four. Three, two, one, and two, and four. Three, two, one, and three for four. Three, two, one for four and four. Three, two, one for five and four. Three, two, 
One for six and four. Three, two, one for seven and four. Three, two, one for eight and four. Three, two, one for nine and four. Three, two, one for ten and four. Three, two, one for eleven and four. Three, two, one for twelve and four. Three, two, one. Holy, my right side was failing. Failing, failing big time. Okay, up for your cardio. We're gonna start with 20 oblique frog squats. Right here, touch the ground if you can. If not, reach low for 20, one. Drop the glutes. Ten halfway. Miss twenty. We're going to do a lateral squat. All right, you've got twenty in total. You can walk it laterally for low impact. Otherwise, count to twenty. So you're one. Two, three, four. And 20. Ah, good. You've got 30 Nordic skiers right here for low impact. Otherwise, kick it up. 10. 20. 30. Whew. Okay. One more. You've got abs coming up. Yowza. How you doing? <sighs> Heart rate's up. Okay, make your way to the ground. We're starting with the shovel. We're gonna scoop up the sand and bring it back. Single leg scoop is fine. You've got 12. Scoop and one. Eleven. Good. Moving into an X position ab. Your body's in the shape of an X. Small package to modify. Otherwise, all the way up for twelve and two. There's 12. Okay, hands under the bottom. You're gonna do a hip hop. Bend and extend. You can extend a single leg at a time to mod. Here we go. Pop the hips up. Bend, extend, that's one. Ceiling, extend, that's two. Two more. Very good. Okay, feet on the ground. We're gonna come up, tap hand to ankle. You've got 12 aside, so 24 in total of your turtle crunch. 
Ready? Here we go. And a one, two. Again for 12. Oh, let's do 12 more right here. Stay with me. Go for 12, 10, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and rest. And finishing off with your straight leg lifts up and down, just straight up and down, single leg, and that flutter kick to mod. Here we go. And we're slow. And one, two, good. There's eight, four more for me. Last right here. And give those knees a hug. All right, you've got one more short cardio burst to finish off with. Stand up, make sure you're not dizzy. You were upside down for a bit. We're gonna start with that jumping curtsy lunge. Okay, modify if you need, or just do reverse lunge if you don't love the curtsy. 20, here we go. Low, two, good. There's 10. And 20, going into your star jump. Modify here. You got 12 star jumps. Here we go. Oh, that was killer on the legs. Okay, one more. 20 squat jumps to finish. Oh, I need a quick sip. It's hard. Okay, you can squat for 20 or jump. Whew. She's up there. When you're ready, give me last 20. Here we go, land light. There's 10. Three, two, one and done. You move daily, wow. That was a tough finish. In your upper body by muscle group. All the muscles in those upper body targeted. Cardio heart has targeted. Nice work everyone. Okay, walk it out. Bring that heart rate down before you take your way down to the ground. Clean up your yard sale and meet me down on the ground for a stretch if you can. Let's make our way down to the ground here. Can we start with that child's pose? Reach your hands, reach your hips back, and drop your head to the mat. Oh, there we go. Just stay down here for a bit. Really reach those hips back. Try to press your chest toward the ground. I'm gonna take my right hand, cross it over my left, and reach my right hip back stretching through my lats. Whew, that was work. Switching sides, left hand on my right hand and left hip is reaching back now. 
She's a good stretch, folks. She's a good one. Good. Draw your hands in. Let's reach up and rotate here. And switch sides. Oh, that's such a good thoracic spine stretch. All right, let's tuck under. Stretch those rear delts. Oh, I liked that workout. The cardio was harder than I thought it would be. I'm like, I'll just do three exercises and then she'll be done. But each one was of course intense, so switch sides if you didn't already. Something's wrong with my timer. I, it loaded upstairs and then I came downstairs and it would not load and it's so annoying. So I had to do this by rep range. So already I know one lady for sure is gonna <laughs> jump down my throat in the comments that she doesn't like it, but it was either do a workout or don't. I, I was looking for a new timer to try and see if I could find something a bit different. Let's stand, but keep your hands on the ground. Slowly stretch right here. I'm gonna tuck my hands under my feet and just draw up through the shoulder blades. Anyway, oh, they're all tricky to program and I just didn't have time this morning, so I'm like, I need to do something different with the timer thing. Round up, roll those show, uh, wrists. Anyway, can we open up on a wall or chair or couch or something? Drop that shoulder, stretch in the pecs. Yeah, this would have been good in my brain. I'm like, this is gonna be perfect timed. I'll do four or five exercises per muscle group, then three minutes of cardio. And then I got down here and then the timer didn't work. So a quick pivot when things don't always go as you want them to. <laughs> What type of personality are you when things don't go your way? Are you a quick pivot and adapt or are you a freak out? Um, <laughs> I, I, I like to be a quick pivot and adapt because what can you do? Like, what can you do? Getting mad solves nothing. It just makes you feel anxious or uptight or what have you. So I just try to go, well, let's just go with what we've got and do the best we can. <laughs> which is what it, I thought this was a good workout. Uh, I know it's tricky for some people though, just in terms of timing. Can you stay with me? Uh, do you take longer in the reps? Do you take shorter in the reps? Are we lifting the same? So I totally understand why timed is more proficient for the majority, but um, I like this because then I can just gauge how much rest I need as well, right? Whereas in timed, I might give myself a bit more rest, but here I could challenge myself to keep going or vice versa if I'm lifting heavier. So I'll throw these in from time to time, but that's the reason why today, just FYI. Okay, thanks for joining. Go move daily in your wellness and nutrition, and I'll see ya in the next workout.